Hello everyone, Weed Witch. <laughs> Hello everyone, Weed Witch here once again, and you guys, I am back today with a super, super slick, awesome video for you guys. Um, I'm very, very excited about this. If you've seen some of my past videos, um, I do a lot of art stuff. I've been opening up a lot more about it on my YouTube channel. Um, but I've recently, you know, I do a lot of acrylic pouring and bug magnets, floral uh, coasters, this and that. But uh, I got a bunch of jewelry molds. I ended up getting more because why not? And I had this awesome idea. I was looking at these square ones. And I'm like, what could I do with these? Because they're almost like dog tags, you know, <laughs> like straight up tags. And I had the world's greatest idea. So you guys already probably know what this video is about to be about just because the name of this video makes it pretty clear. But, um, yeah, just to get a little bit more in-depth, I gave you that little backstory on my art dabbling and this is where I've come to. So I got some weird materials here that I literally found around my house. Um, I happened to get this kit that had a bunch of little gemstones in them so I crushed up like half of them and left the other half of them solid I'll show you those in a second that's what we're gonna have is crushed gems and solid gems um, right here these are actually bottles that I brought home from work but this is that gluey glittery substance I have I have gold and an opal and of course I am going for the classic amethyst style geode a nice purpley crystally white um i'm actually gonna add a little bit of gold of mine to really make it pop so yeah guys that's what we're going for here is a nice vibrant pretty purple but i also have here you may recognize this from one of my past art videos this is my dragon flag glaze which makes practically any paint and any surface this sticker <laughs> And I will also be using my trusty epoxy resin to kind of seal this all together, you guys. Um, I've been Googling and Googling if wet paint and wet epoxy resin will mix, like without you physically mixing it, if it'll like pull the color out. But if you've guys seen some of my past videos, I do use epoxy resin quite a bit on my acrylic paints. I let them dry before I put the epoxy on. I feel like it won't be a problem. We're going to do it anyways, even if it does pull color, whatever. This right here is my all-time favorite piece ever. It's absolutely gorgeous, incredibly beautiful. An awesome woman I know who does pretty slick tattoos is purchasing it to put it up in her shop. $40, you guys, for that with the epoxy resin before it's 30, with the epoxy resin it's 40. A lifelong, very unique, one-of-a-kind gift. So if you want something like that, don't hesitate to ask me. I'm really branching out here. I'm doing all different kinds of stuff, really trying to get my art game on, and I'd love to share it with the world. So um, I will leave the link to my art page in the, in the description below, you guys. Thank you so much. But anyways, I'm going to be using that epoxy resin to seal this all together because um, I was trying to figure out a way how to do the base and then let it dry and then epoxy. It's going to be impossible. So, um... I might have to kind of work fast here, even though I like totally don't know what I'm doing, uh, because epoxy does dry fast. It heats itself up and it hardens pretty fast. So I want to start with a layer of epoxy so I can kind of work around that and then go from there and add a finishing layer. So I'm going to point you guys down here in a second so you guys can see what's going on. Um, I just found this old dirty syringe, which sounds horrible but it's an old art syringe i've always used this for art i swear but anyways i'm gonna be using this to measure out the epoxy because i discovered a way to do this without having to worry about the side epoxy drying too fast is i'm straight up just gonna syringe just the right amount to cover the bottom i'm using this one all the way in the left corner here it seems to be the most moderate size for a beginner um <laughs> so we're gonna be using this mold here and I'm just going to syringe in enough epoxy hardener and resin to make a nice layer on the bottom to kind of start working in the magic you guys I'm very very excited for this let's just do it all right you guys so we are starting with our epoxy I am uncapping both bottles right now and I'm going to add our resin first and then our hardener
all right you guys now that both parts are oddly mixed in there or set in there I'm gonna change my gloves and we're gonna mix it up within the mold all right you guys so it is as mixed up as it's gonna be and as these bubbles rise to the surface I'm going to tap to pop them and also hit them with my little torch. Um, oop, got a little hair in there. <laughs> but we're going to wait a couple minutes and let the bubbles rise and torch, bubbles rise, torch, back and forth, on and on. Also, right now, while we wait for that resin to come up, these are some of the crystals. I'm so sorry. I didn't show you guys before, but I also have, this is only half of our crushed up crystals. I put some paint on them just to give them a little pop. And I'm keeping these crystals. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. The way they are. And these larger crystals that I'm going to be putting in the middle. I'm going to paint those a much deeper, darker purple. <laughs> Alright you guys. So we're going to focus on these gems here. I put a couple more larger ones in there. I feel like we may need them. I know. Oh, I guess you can't see. Okay. I know they're bright, bright teal. But we're going to make it work. Um, I'm just going to start adding paint for real and see where we go. I will be adding black to get a really dark purple because I'm not sure if I have enough dark, a dark enough purple for this. But I'm going to start with this really, really vibrant color shifting purple. A little bit of black on my paintbrush. Beautiful. I'm going to get a little lot more black. <laughs> That's pretty gorgeous, I'd say. Now, clearly, there's like way too much paint on these. I'm going to set them in a different silicone mold and kind of get the paint off of them so I can really still see that shine to the crystal about it. All right, you guys. So I'm extremely nervous, but also super excited. I have so much going on right now. Let me just explain to you. So I have these crystals, crushed crystals here that are unpainted. I have these painted crushed crystals. Um, and then in here, focus this, in here I have some of those larger crystals I showed you and almost a complete black, but a little bit of vibrant purple still in there. And then here on the right, over here on the right, we have straight up that beautiful vibrant -y purple, and we're just going to go from here, you guys. Um, To these, I like those, honestly, but I'm going to add a little bit of this vibrant purple to it. Much better, you guys. So I am just going to start by taking my gunky, purpley, galaxy paintbrush. You guys can't really see. But I'm going to, sorry, I'm literally using my phone to do this. But I'm going to dip it in some black paint and start by dropping black paint into the epoxy. Just around the corners. Push this black paint into the sides. Okay, so just a quick close-up so you guys can see what I'm seeing right now. This is our black lined edges. I got a couple more spots I need to fill in, but here's the general idea of what we want our outside to look like. I added some more black, and now I'm going to go in with the original paint that I mixed my crystals in with before I added that vibrant purple, and just kind of make a really thin layer between this black and the rest of the epoxy of this purple. We're not going for any specific shape here because, of course, this is a rock. <laughs> so it can have any shape to it, any natural shape, unnatural shape. All right, you guys. And then after I do that middle layer, I'm sure you guys can't really see it all that well. But after we do that second layer, not middle, excuse me, I'm going to add in our tiny gemstones. Um, how I'm going to do this exactly, I'm not completely sure yet. <laughs> This is going to take me a while, you guys, so I'm going to skip you guys ahead and keep doing what I'm doing. So this is what it's looking like right now, you guys, and I know it doesn't look like much, but it's the other side that's really going to matter. 
Um, right now we got some splotchiness here in the black, but our background base is going to be black. So anything that's patchy right now is going to be totally sealed. Don't even worry about it. Oh, this is beautiful. Right now we are also going to just be adding a delicious layer of opal. Coming in with some opal. I'm not sure how well this is going to work. All right, so none of the sparkles are coming out of the squeeze bottle, just the glue. How upsetting is that? I'm going to try cutting this down first, and if that doesn't work, I'm just going to try to manually put it in there. All right, let's just do it. We got that nice, thick, beautiful layer of opal in there, you guys. I'm just excited to see what this thing looks like when it's finished. Um, So right now... I'm going to put some of these thin stones into that opal and try to press them through. And last but not least, you guys, in our middle section, I'm going to start by carefully placing these painted purple rocks. I'm saving the darkest ones for last, but I'm just placing these around and kind of in the opal. And I'm just going to press those down as well. And then our darkest rocks, it, right here in the middle. Okay, so I know the back is looking a little messy and sloppy, but I promise it is always what's on the other side that matters. Um, I'm going to actually see if I can kind of see the other side by flipping this. Can't see it too great, but it's looking pretty all right, but kind of patchy-ish. Like I said, I'm going to be putting paint in there later on wow actually it looks really cool you guys all right you guys so i almost forgot but i'm gonna add i can't use this bottle i remember but i'm gonna add a gold layer right outside this black layer on the very very edges if i can um and then after that i'm not gonna touch it for uh, excuse me <laughs> quite a while you guys and we'll come back and check on it when it's presumably ready Okay, now I'm done touching it. For real this time, you guys, I'm very, very excited. I hope that gold just makes it really pop and not totally destroys it. Like I said, I will see you guys when this is dry and ready to pull. You guys, so we are back, and I lied to you. I want to say that initially. I think I said I was going to wait, like, four days a week, something like that. I don't know what I told you guys. But it's, like, a little less than 24 hours later, and I know traditionally you should definitely 100% let epoxy sit for 48 hours. But I'm really itching to see what this looks like, and I'm not going to lie. I already did kind of a little sneak peek, so the reason I'm doing this at 24 hours is because I took this illegal sneak peek and I seen that that um that gooey opal you know gluey stuff um everything else is pretty much dry even the epoxy is dry except that inner all I'm saying is it needs some oxygen to dry a little faster so I took a sneak peek it's looking pretty fresh it's definitely going to need another layer of epoxy all over it I'm painting the back black so any clear spots that are shown through are going to be covered. <laughs> um, it's hard to explain. You're pretty much just going to have to wait to see it, but I'm going to keep you guys right here. I'm going to pop this out and show you guys what's up. <laughs> All right, you guys. So the moment of truth, Ooh, at least for now, sorry, I got hair all over my hands, but like I said, this inside here, oh my God, this is incredible. Ooh. All right. So it's still a little gooey. I don't want to mess with it too much, you guys. But, oh, holy shit. So this is what we got going on, you guys. I'm going to try to get another angle with a different light so you can really, really see. Because it's kind of hard right now. Especially with me going out of focus. But, oh my god. Alright, you guys. So this is what we're looking at straight out of the mold. Oh my god. I'm going to be completely honest here. This turned out 
Sorry, my hands are shaking, but I'm trying to get a clear view for you guys. This turned out so much better than I ever even could have imagined. Holy shit. So it is absolutely beautiful, like I've said a million times already. But, of course, it's still a little scruffy. So we're going to need to put a top coat on it to really, really help gloss that out and make it shine. And a nice black on the back to cover up the mush and gush we got going up here. And really, I can't see... I know my phone's way out of whack, but you really can't see too much where it's peeking through, but I'm sure once we apply that black on the back, it may make a pretty significant difference, you guys. Wow, I'm just very, very proud of myself. All right, you guys, we are back to put the final setting on our jewel. Um, I say final, but sometimes this can take another two coatings to really get that solid, solid clear glass like coating on the outside but pretty much just what we're going to be doing right now is um i already have my two parts mixed right here i'm letting some bubbles rise right now i'm going to paint a little bit of the epoxy on the back of this put a little bit in here and press it down upside down because we originally made it like this like i said i was painting the back black um you guys oh i'm so happy but this ended up being a little thicker a lot thicker than i wanted it to be so we're gonna try to weasel it back into this mold it's gonna be interesting but i know i can do it we're gonna weasel it back into this mold and put as much on top as we can it's probably gonna be a pretty thin layer but i want to at least do that and then maybe um like i said i might do end up doing a second epoxy coating in which i will just i think i'm just gonna if i have to i'll just set it to the side and straight up pour it on there, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to paint some of that epoxy here on the back of this black. All right, and I'm just gonna pour a very small amount into here. I mean, just literally enough just to cover the bottom. And a quick poop poop. All right, you guys, and now the tricky part. Now the tricky part. Oh, or not so tricky. Wow, okay, that was much easier. All right, so I'm gonna press hard get all the air bubbles out don't worry i'm gonna wipe off these sides real quick where all that goop gushed out so we really really don't have much room here but i'm gonna make the most out of it and take my paintbrush and just paint on as much resin as i can get to stay on this top i'm gonna hit it with the torch again because i see some air bubbles and then I'm going to get some up close and personal, oh my God, shots for you. This is incredible, you guys. So this is what we're looking at right now, you guys. Oh my God. It is incredible. I'm so happy. Um, I'm going to set it on a really nice flat surface and hopefully everything goes as well as it has been. I'm really, really happy, you guys. And if you're watching, thanks for watching this long. I have some really cool shit to show you and just a second all right you guys so it is official it is done it is beautiful it is glossy it is lovely i'm gonna go ahead and put this up for sale on my art page on facebook if any of you are interested in purchasing this you guys so much for watching this was just an amazing amazing experience i'm so glad with the way this turned out like i said at the beginning of the video this was my very first time ever doing anything like all three of these items here so like I said, thank you for watching. I'm gonna drop some wicked pictures right now.